In this particular video, we are going to talk about quorum sensing, a very interesting mechanism of microorganism to contact each other and talk to each other in a very specific manner. A discovery that fundamentally changed the way we think about microbes was made while studying a particular marine bacterium called Vibrio fishery. In the dark, colonies of this Vibrio fishery are bioluminescent. Although this bacteria can survive as planktonic form in marine environment, Vibrio fishery predominantly lives in symbiosis with certain many marine animals such as the Hawaiian bobtailed squid. The bacteria colonize and receive nutrients inside the light organ, a structure located in the squid's mantle cavity. The bacteria glow only under certain conditions. The genes needed to make light are off when bacterial cell densities are low such as in the seawater but turn on under the crowded situations such as in the light organ of the squid. When enough cells are together to make a visual impact, how do cells know they have achieved an adequate number of nearby individual that is a quorum before turning on their luminescence genes. It turns out that this phenomenon called quorum sensing is only loosely associated with the cell number. The induction of a quorum sensing gene system requires the ac accumulation of molecules called autoinducer. After a cell produces an autoinducer, the molecule rapidly diffuse out of the cell. The more cells in a given space, the faster the autodiffuser builds up and more likely it will start the process of luminescence response. Under laboratory condition, the artificial addition of this autoinducer to the appropriate concentration will even cause cell grow at low densities to glow. The Lux system of the gene mediates the uh, bacterium's bioluminescence. In this system, the Lux genes are initially expressed at a low basal level, leading to the production of a small number of Lux proteins, including Lux I and Lux R. Lux I synthesizes the autoinducer, which in this case Vibrio fishery is a chemical called acyl homoserin lactone. The autoinducer quickly diffuses out to the cell, typically within the chance to interact the further with the Lux system inside the cell. However, when the autoinducer is at high concentration outside of the cell, as in crowded conditions, the number of these molecules are likely to re-enter the cell and bind to the regulatory molecule Lux R. The Lux R autoinducer complex binds to the operon and activates the transcription, enhancing the expression of the target genes. Thus, more Lux I and more autoinducer are produced which will ultimately further enhance the expression of this operon and the enzyme responsible for the light production, luciferase, consists of the product of the Lux A and Lux B gene are also produced. Luciferase catalyzes a redox reaction that produces oxidized and reduced chemical components as well as a blue-green light because the Lux proteins, like the other proteins, require energy to produce the cell turn this system on only appropriate such as when they are crowded together in the light organ of the squid. How does light from the Vibrio fishery benefit the squid? The bacteria provide luminescence for the squid after sunset when the animal emerges from the binding place. The animal emerges from the hiding place then the sand to the search, search uh, per food in this case. As the squid swims in a moonlit night, its light organ projects light downwards in an apparent attempt to camouflage the squid from any predators below. Looking up as a fish, you would see light match to that of the night sky instead of the dark squid. Vibrio fisheries is not alone in this to use the scurum sensing. Although bacteria are typically thought of as a unicellular in nature, many, if not most bacterium from specialized surface attached communities called biofilms such as the plaque found in our teeth. In biofilms, bacteria communicate with each other using a variety of chemicals. The bacteria use the chemical language to access bacterial cell density and diversity and to determine the best time to perform the behavior such as to start, glow or launch a virulent attack within your body.